Hey guys, what's up? It's Spencer from Flight Director, and today I'm going to show you how to add aircraft to Ultimate Traffic 2. Now, this can be very useful if, for example, you want to add the new Unite library to your simulator. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you have to do is to download an aircraft and download the aircraft library. Personally, I recommend going to flightsim.com to do this. All you have to do there is create a quick account, it takes two minutes, then you can get started. First off, go to File Library. This is where you download the files and click Search Files. Now I've already installed the United library set, so I don't have to. I'm not going to do the United. However, another library which is not represented in Ultimate Traffic 2 is Jet 2. So type up Jet 2, and then something which you have to do for all aircraft, which when you're looking for one, which is for uh, for um, AI aircraft, you just type in Alpha India. That tells uh, the search engine that you're looking for AI aircraft. Is, so that's a very commonly used term. So start search. Now you have these nine files that match the search criteria. You're looking for the aircraft. So flight plans, that's not very useful. Call sign, JNX, that's not useful. Oh, here we go. We have the Boeing 737-800 and the Boeing 737-200 winglets. Those are the two aircraft in the Jet 2 fleet, so perfect. Uh, let's download the 757-200. So, even though it's FSX 4 there is backwards compatibility in FSX, so you can use it. So don't worry if you see FSX 4 So, download. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to click this. It's very simple. Um, FSX, then let's look at the description. FSX 4 Jet 2, Boeing 757-200 winglets. This is a repaint, so it's only the textures of the Alpha India Group Boeing 757-200 in the Jet 2 color scheme. Base files package, this is very important, base files package for the fourth, there where the aircraft is required. So you want to click on that. Remember it's a Boeing 757-200 winglet. So click on that. And here we are. So we have the Boeing 757-200, that's the non-winglet model, so we do not want that. We want this one, the winglet model. So download, and now we can exit out of here as we have the two files that we need. We have the model and the texture file. So now, here's the texture file that we were, we downloaded just now, and then here's the model file. AIG is Boeing 757-200 winglet and the texture. So now let's go to computer, go to your flight simulator folder, and then this is just like in our aircraft, only there's one change. So go to sim objects now. Instead of going to airplanes, go to UT2 aircraft. So let's open up. And then I've already downloaded this plane and installed it, but if, if for you, just you would just you would copy and paste it in here. So now go to here. We can exit out of here. And now what you want to do is you want to move the texture in here. Now it's in, but not totally done. You have to add the aircraft.cfg.txt. This tells the simulator what aircraft you are adding and um, the information about the aircraft. So this is just like installing any other repaint. So you want to copy this and paste it in at the very end. So you have flightsim.1, flightsim.2, flightsim.3. Oh, we're done with the flightsim something. So you got to paste it in at the end. Flightsim. So the previous one was flightsim.3. So this one's going to be flightsim.4. You can close out of here. Now let's double check to make sure that everything is correct. There are three main things that you have to double check. You have to check the model, the texture, and the UI type. So, first off, model, RR winglets. It looks close, but this one is capitalized and this one isn't. So let's fix that. RR winglet works. Texture, jet2 underscore silver underscore g dash lsec. That looks right. Now let's check the UI type. Boeing 77-200. Huh. I thought we downloaded 757-200 winglets, which we did. So, the uh, author of this file made a mistake and forgot to include the W right there. So, now we've double checked the UI type, the texture, and the title. Everything's all set. We were ready to go. So, save this, and then you can exit out of the file. You can exit out of this folder, and you can exit out of here. Now, let's go to Ultimate Traffic 2. 
Now this is very easy to add aircraft. It's a very simple set setup. Uh, shouldn't take. It doesn't take more than a minute, and you can do this for pretty much any aircraft that you download. Okay, so now we're at the home page of Ultimate Traffic 2. You gotta go to Traffic Options, Aircraft Repaints, switch the traffic database to UT2 Weekly Official, and then you wanna sort by the airline. So, now select the carrier. There are 710 options, but we want Jet2. So, jet2.com. Now you want to select the plane. So we picked a 757-200 winglets. So let's add that, pick that. So currently, uh, for the FSX aircraft that's assigned, it's the Boeing 757-200 winglets, but it's the default MISTI. So that means that it's a, UT it's a default aircraft provided by UT2. So they didn't make the livery for Jet2. So we can remove that aircraft. Save the assignments. So now there is nothing assigned in Ultimate Traffic 2 to represent Jet 2 or, so Jet 2 757. What we gotta do is we gotta add it. So remember it was Alpha and it, we the plane we picked was from Alpha India Group. So select aircraft manufacturer, Alpha India. Now select the aircraft type. It was a Boeing 757 200 winglets. So now we have that. Oh, there's the aircraft that we made that we uh, just made. So it's the Jet 2 Silver. Uh, GLSAC friendly low fares. That sounds right. Add to a. S Sorry, not the United Continental. We w now we want to add to assignments the Jet to Silver friendly low fares. Now it's all added in. You just had to pick Add to Assignments. Now it's in. Press Save to Assignments. Now, if you go into Flight Simulator X and go to an airport, which is quite inhabited by Jet 2 aircraft, such as Manchester Airport, EGCC, you'll notice that the aircraft is installed. So, you'll go right over here. Let's go down. Oh, there's the aircraft we installed. And there's the friendly low fares. So, as you can see, the installation worked, and Jet 2 aircraft are now showing up in the simulator. If you guys have any questions, you feel free to leave a comment down below. Other than that, this has been Spencer for Flight Director, and I hope you guys learned something today.